I'm Caleb Giddings from Gunnuts Media, and those were the last nine rounds that we needed to get the Kimber Team Match 2 to the 2000 round mark. Now that I've got my hearing and eye protection off, we can actually talk about the gun itself and go over the scoring criteria for our 1911 reviews. Remember, all guns start with a perfect score of 100, and they lose points throughout the test as things happen to them. If they fail the 10 performance function test, for example, if they have failures to feed, if they have malfunctions or parts breakages or stoppages, they're going to lose various points for various things. A perfect score is a 100. It's a gun that functions flawlessly throughout the entire test. We got two of those so far. The Rock Island 9mm 1911 was perfect never failed, never dropped a beat anywhere. Also the Dan Wesson Valkyrie was perfect, never failed, never dropped a beat anywhere. This was close. The Kimber Team Match 2 in 9mm had one failure, one stoppage, one interruption of the cycle of operations, whatever you want to call it. It had a single double feed from the factory Kimber magazine with a round of Winchester PDX-1 Defender 147 grain jacketed hollow points. So for that single failure, it has lost one point. It passed the 10 performance function test, it has had no parts breakages or other major failures of any type, and has generally run extremely well and been a gun that I've very much enjoyed shooting and carrying while I've had it. So, it's got a score of 99 out of 100, making it one of the top 1911s that I've had the opportunity to test on the channel. Now that we've got the score established, let's go into some likes, dislikes about the Kimber Team Match 2. So we'll start with things that are really good about it. One of the things that I really like are the sights. What you have here are standard, adjustable, black on black target sights. They are a little too, the front sight's a little too thick for normal, for what I normally like for competition shooting, but otherwise perfect. You can get a crisp, clean sight picture with these sights that allows for some tremendous precision shooting, which leads me to the next thing that I like about this gun, and that's how accurate it is. This gun is freaky accurate. We were able to shoot sub two inch groups at 25 yards with defensive ammo, with match ammo, all day long. Stupid accurate gun, extremely accurate, just and just a, a pleasant gun to shoot. A couple of things uh, that I also like that we're going to continue with. I like the checkering on the front strap. It's nice. It's not too aggressive. It's just the right amount of grip, especially for a gun that I've been using in South Florida in the humidity and the heat. Your hands get sweaty. They get kind of gross. It gets hard to hold on to stuff. So I really actually like the checkered front strap on the front of this gun. I think it makes the gun easier to use for competition shooting. A couple of things I'm not really a fan of. The trigger pull actually is one of them. The trigger's too heavy from the factory. It's four and a half pounds. That's way too heavy for a $2,000 1911. You should expect, in my opinion, a $2,000 1911 to have a trigger pull that weighs at least, like let's say three pounds. That's kind of the range that I would hope that the trigger pull on this would be in. The only other thing I really didn't particularly like about it is the, well, the, it's the grips. There's nothing wrong with the grips, okay? They're, they're fine, but they're smooth all, so they're smooth on this part, and then they have some minor checkering right here, and that minor checkering really isn't enough to add a lot of traction to the gun, but I don't know, I just don't like them. I feel like, on a $2,000 1911, the grip should be better. And, now this is just kind of a personal pet peeve, I feel like they clash with the overall theme of the gun, right? Like I've got a nice two-tone 1911 here, two-tone the way 1911s are supposed to be, black on top, stainless on the bottom, and then I have these weird red grips that don't really make a whole lot of sense. But, that's it. The only two things I don't really like, the trigger pull's too heavy, at four and a half pounds. It's a lot of trigger to move, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of the grips. Other than that, I really like this gun. This has been 
one of my favorite 1911s that we have put through the test cycle. It has been tremendously accurate, tremendously reliable, just again, a pleasure to shoot. I've been carrying it and it's actually held up very well to carry, which is something that other 1911s that I've carried have not done where they've started to rust out or have issues. This has not shown any signs of rust in the places where it contacts my body, which is pretty nice to be honest. This one will drive the gun purists crazy. So do you see how dirty this gun is? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really clean my guns. I just lubricate them when they need it. Again, 2,000 rounds through the Kimber Team Match 2, and it's run great. If you guys have any questions about the Kimber, oh, there's one other thing, and I've sort of mentioned it in passing, the price. This gun's like two grand. It's expensive. Is it worth it? I think so. I think if you're looking for a 1911 that you can take out of the bag, put in a holster, and go shoot a match with, this would actually be a pretty solid choice. That's it for the Kimber Team Match 2 review. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all 2,000 rounds of this nonsense. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm Caleb Giddings. Until next time, run your gun, not your mouth.